Ok, let's go Contingency Contract 6, Daily Stage, Day 6, when it's with Highland, no, Day 7. Risk 8 with the um, challenge as well, so basically all the Risk 1, third of Risk 2 and uh, the only one of Risk 3. We're gonna do it with this type of squad, with a Corporator Good Sniper. So you can use Axia, you can use Ash, uh, just to use uh, the best sniper you can find. Uh, yeah, I will use uh, Ash, since uh, he's here. If you can, just use Ash as well, so you have my same timing. So basically you need... Uh, okay, Mirtu is used to get Elite 2 support unit and as Vanguard, but I will simulate it's not a Master 3. So Mirtu, good Vanguard. Uh, your best Duelist Guard or Guard with high damage. Med uh, medic Defender, AoE Medic, single target, single target Medic. Caster, your best caster. Fast deploy, another fast deploy if you have it. Else you use Yato, Yato is pretty good. Your tank is the defender who is able to tank at least one hit from the Lancers, enemy. Then um, another ground unit to wake enemies up. And this one is just in case of emergency something bad happens to, to stall. That's all we need, let's do this. I guess you can even... No, no, no you can't. Or maybe yes. Yeah, you can even take... Uh, Instead of the sniper, Thorns. Thorns here face down. Up to you, depends on what you can find. Immediately Mirto here to get TP. Let's simulate, yeah, he's not M3, so I will wait for using the skill. Around now should be fine. Then Medic, uh, AoE Medic here. Your best guard here. The TP, Ash here. Damash, what is that pose? Ready to go. Okay. Now wake this enemy up. This uh, caster. We must kill. When he's on the X, around now, medic and the medic defender. Caster here, face on the right side. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Wait till this one go away first. Okay, he's uh, away now, because now he should uh, go away and not doing the secret anymore. So use the skill here, maybe get another skill. So, caster, skill here. Wake one uh, of the swarm and up. Drop uh, this one into your tankiest defender. Okay, here we go. Now I will wake up another swordman because I know that my captor can kill this swordman pretty fast. Ah, you, you saw it. Quora survives with a really low HP for a one lancer, so that's your that's the job of your bank a defender. Okay. Your job is don't let those operators doing nothing. Keep wake up the swordman and make sure that when this one dies, the other one will come. For example, now I'm sure that. Play this one. We kill. Also, I will wake up. No, not yet. MVP. I will wake up this caster now. Damn. Okay, okay. It's, uh, it's, not, it's nothing bad. I should manage better the healing here, but it's fine. When Asha comes... No, when he's inside Asha range, just use Asha skill. Then he's done first. Okay, retreat. Yeah, Cutter will be ready again later. It's not a big problem. Or we can just use a plume here. You can retreat to Mirtor, we don't need anymore. Okay. Thank god we killed most of this Warman before this happens. Okay, so let's use Plume here. Double Lancers, be careful for the Double Lancers. Now just pay attention. When the Double Lancers are about to reach this X, so not yet. Around now, wake one of the caster up. Okay, activate the Defender skill. And the tank, one of them with the faster redeploy. Re re 
He goes uh, but if both together goes uh, this defender will die unless he's a really really strong one uh, like Nian Elite 2 second skill those type or Korra Elite 2. Okay, we can swap back uh, into Cutter here. Careful to the caster. Kill. When he's inside the Ashes attack range, we're gonna kill. Okay, now let's go. Let's wake up this one up. Let's wake up. No, let's don't use that. Keep wake up this one now. Just a go, just a go. Don't use the skill because now if you use it, you will wake up the adults. Watch your skill, 12 seconds. Use a faster deploy here to bait the caster damage. Now you can wake this one up. Okay, no need. I can retreat to this one. Different Scratcher is coming. I guess I can make it in time. Yeah, just in time. Because uh, before those two can go there. I just use this one here to bait the... Actually this one here to bait the damage so it will not uh, attack the... Castle? No, actually it's fine. Don't use it. Don't need, don't need. Or maybe yes. Yeah, do it. Okay. Uh, here maybe it's better if you don't use the skill. Yeah. And this one's so slow. Move faster. Okay, we woke up, but in this situation, just use the skill, caster. And uh, kill the defense crusher. This one we kill with the guard, and you can even activate this uh, one's skill to kill. At this point, just wick this one up. Right, yeah, right, he's not moving. Right now he's moving. That's why I told you, you must keep wake the casters up and when you kill the one, the other one must be ready here and keep kill, hit, keep kill, keep kill, keep kill before the two reaches inside the attack range. This time is pretty good because, uh, yeah, we killed them. I mean, the caster reached here together with the two sentinels, but since the caster has a lower path duration, operators were targeting the caster instead of the sentinels. If you have a Surtur, Helagur, it will be a lot easier because you can just spawn camp them. And here we go. Today I will not make the high end because yeah, I must uh, make the guide for the annihilation as well. So, that's all guys. Um, hope this video helped you to collect today's contingency contract. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!